If you're of a certain age, like some of us, you may remember a time in school when old math became new math. Today, we're going to talk about better math. That's coming up next on Classroom Connections. Hi, and welcome to Classroom Connections, a public affairs discussion on issues important to students, teachers, and parents in Des Moines Public Schools. I'm Phil Rader, Director of Community Relations. Math, at its most basic level, is instinctive. The youngest student understands what it means to have more or less of something. So how does that translate into improving math education in our schools? Working with the University of Northern Iowa and the Heartland Area Education Agency, Des Moines Public Schools is finding the answer. Here to talk with us more about this is Barb Adams, the Director of Math Curriculum for Des Moines Public Schools. Barb, this project with you and I and the AEA is known as the Partnership for Cognitively Guided Instruction, which I will never be able to say three times fast, so we will go by the initials of CGI. Tell us a little more about what CGI is, what this means for the district. CGI actually is supported by over 20 years of research from the University of Wisconsin, so it's not something new, but it's focused on teachers and their professional development in mathematics, thinking about what it means to instruct or learn math differently. Um, let me put it this way. As adults, many of us learned math as a set of rules or procedures, and so we got pretty good at solving equations. But when it comes to problem solving, many of us are stuck because we don't know how to set up that equation. Maybe you remember how the Far Side comic strip mm -hmm. poked fun at this anxiety. Um, so rather than a set of materials or a kit or a curriculum, CGI is a way of thinking about what it means to teach and learn mathematics. So if I walk into a classroom and it's a CGI math class, mm -hmm. what's What's different to, the, to anybody that might observe it? If you, if you were to watch a teacher teach with this method, you would see the math skills taught all through problem solving and word problems. So a teacher presents a variety of problems with a variety of um, more complex, larger numbers. And then the students figure out how to solve these problems but more importantly, they share their thinking. The solutions, different ways of solving problems, they explain to their classmates. The teacher listens to how the student makes sense. And then the teacher uh, decides what their students need next based on what the students name, say. So that's how it got its name. It's instruction that's cognitively guided. Where, where does this approach to math education start? Is it something that begins as soon as kindergarten and go throughout elementary school or is there a certain age level that it, it, it has the best or most impact on students? We really start with young children but it's for all ages because it's a belief that students learn math um, when they make sense of it. So even in a kindergarten class you would see a problem like uh, Phil has seven dollars. He's saving his money to buy a toy that costs eleven dollars. How much more money does he need? Or um, how could Phil and Chad share three cookies equally between the two of them? That, those are subtraction and division problems we don't think that kindergarten students can do. I, I think Phil always gets the most cookies, <laughs> but that's just me. Um, it was just recently that uh, uh, the district learned that uh, was it the State Department of Education and the Board of Regents awarded a grant uh, of $450,000 over the next three years to support this. How are those funds going to be used? What, uh, what's the purpose of that support? The great thing is we can offer summer professional development now for more of our teachers in Des Moines. We can uh, create video clips of CGI classrooms to be used in training. We can provide mentors to teachers who uh, need additional support throughout the classroom year rather than just in the summer. What, um, what kind of reaction feedback are you getting from, from the teachers and the principals that have been involved uh, with this effort so far? 
You know, it's really an excitement throughout the country, and we feel it here in Des Moines as well. Teachers are excited because they can see the types of problems their children are doing. Principals are excited because they hear these professional conversations. But maybe more importantly, parents are excited because they hear from their children how they make sense of math and reason and explain and see what kinds of complex problems their kids can do. I want to go back to the, the partnership with you and I and AEA for a moment. How, how did that come about? I mean, it seems like a, a good idea for the school district to team up with a university and, and the AEA. What, what led to that partnership on this particular project? Well, it is always a good idea to get expertise from higher ed. We have uh, great relationships with all colleges and universities in central Iowa. But we chose Heartland AEA because the, one of the math specialists there is a certified CGI trainer. And University of Northern Iowa because of two math professors and their expertise in children's problem solving in math. Well, great. Well, Barb, thanks for joining us today. And we're going to look forward to seeing the difference that this will make in, in math classes uh, starting next year. So speaking of math, Next time we're going to get a lesson in subtraction, specifically efforts taking place in the school district to save money through energy conservation. Until next time, for Classroom Connections, I'm Phil Rader. Thanks for tuning in.